Hello everybody and welcome to Love Live Nijigasaki High School Idol Club Episode 1 Anime Review. Now, this was meant to go up on Saturday, wasn't it, this review? This is when the episode came out, or except it didn't, because you might be able to tell, I am from the UK. Funimation UK, they said they were streaming it. Funimation UK, or well, a bunch of liars, they have since said they were not streaming it, which means I had to find other methods of... Uh, of getting it. I trusted them. I, I trusted there was just technical difficulties. I, I didn't know they were, they, were, they were dumb, you know? Damn it, let me watch my school idols, Funimation. What's wrong with you? Uh, but no, regardless of that fact, watched it. It was really good, you know? I, I went into the episode like, oh, you know what? Well, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm over my love life phase. And it started and I was like, okay, no, I'm not. I'm right back. I'm right back into it, you know? Um, I should probably mention, I've played a little bit of the game, but I haven't played a ton. So, like, I know who everyone is, like, I know their names and that, and, rel like, a little bit about them. But I, I don't know, you know, I don't know a lot. So, I think that's maybe the best thing to be, because I'm like, I'm not an idiot, but I'll still be surprised by some things, which, that's pretty good, isn't it, really? Um, so yeah, just gonna quickly clarify, ex episodes review every week. Saturday now because because I'm not waiting on Funimation no more. Anyway though, let's get into this week's episode, see how everything went down, and do this thing. We begin with Ayamu and you shopping. You, because it's you, get it? If that wasn't deliberate, that's a hell of a coinky dink. The way I think I understand it is you is like you, because in the game you're not one of them, you're you, you're like the manager, not the manager, but you're like a third party, and I think that's you, you is you. Does that make sense? There's a character called I as well, so we've got an I and a you. Why make it so confusing? Thank god we don't have a me. If we had an I, a you, and a me, this would be hella confusing, but no, it's just I and you. But for right now it's you and I and Uh They're shopping, looking at clothes and stuff. Uh, Ayamu says that she is over this, this, she's like, I don't need to wear that, that dress there. And I'm like, it's childish. I'm like, that looks nice. Put that on. Me and my very limited, and by very limited, I mean, no, no fashion sense. I have none of it. Uh, I know that looked quite nice. So wear it, Ayamu. What's wrong with you? Uh, and then they, they, there was a bun bun. There was a bunny outfit and there was a bun bun dance. That was very funny. I just got right back into it. I'm like, oh, okay. That is, I was, at this point I was like, I was teetering, I was like, am I best, am I back into it hardcore? We'll get to what got me into it hardcore proper. They have a bestie selfie, there's a commotion nearby. What's the commotion? It's a stage, it's a performance by Setsuna. Uh, she's, she's doing a performance and so they go and see what's going on. She does the song Chase, I think it's the song, it's the first one. It's in the first, like, little section. I remember that. See, like I said, used to be super, super, like, a couple years ago, was super into Love Live, or maybe a year and a half, whenever it was. Super, super into Love Live. Arguably too into Love Live. But I've fallen off the train a little bit, but I'm, this is going to hop me back, right back on the train. I can, I can already tell. Really like that song too? You know who else really liked that song? It was you. So... You introdu introduces, I guess, a, a unique, I was going to call it a mechanic there, it's not a mechanic, it's not a video game. A unique thing that I guess for this show is, I'm going to call it use music video vision. So basically when she's watching the thing, she, I assume it's her overactive imagination, she gets so overcome with it. But there's like explosions going off, there's magma, and I was just like, what the hell's going on? This is amazing, this is great. Uh, it's, it was really good. Probably should probably mention, uh, yes, the CG dancing was good, was good. It's been improving every series, and that continues that continues here. Although I thought, you know, by the end of Sunshine, I thought it was pretty much perfect anyway. Uh, maybe that's just me. But hey, keep keeping up the good work and all that. They make CG not look like an eyesore, so that's that's good. Uh, if only like other other anime needs to be more like Love Live, just in general. That's that's my that's what we've learned today. Um, yeah, so the performance goes off. Should probably say I'm not going to go too in on the performances and the songs. Y y the Love Live wiki will probably have them or when they're released or whatever if you want. So look at the Love Live wiki, you know. I will tell you, it looks good. I'm not a choreographer. I do not know any of that good stuff. Um, up the performance, Yu is 
proper fangirling, like 100% fangirling, there's no other, other way to describe it, which is pretty good. They see a nearby poster saying, you know, hyping up the event. Weirdly though, there was four other girls on there with Setsuna. Who could they be? I mean, I mean I've already said I know who they are, but we'll let the mystery lie a little bit longer. And they're like, Nijigasaki, that's our school. They're from our school. Oh my god. That's incredible, you know? So they're gonna go and uh, they're gonna go and track them down, I guess. And that is that is the opening section, and from the opening section I knew that I was gonna love this anime, and I'm probably like I've said before, Love Live is just, it's not a not a guilty pleasure because it's not a bad show, but uh, it's maybe one that just hits me. It's like, yeah, this this hits hits it a different way. I'm not going to say the line, I'm not, but uh, it, it, hits, it hits you good. Um, I should probably talk about the art style change before we get much further. It looks different, you know? It's whatever, you know? It's, do I think I like, at first I was like, I don't think I like this as much as before, but you know, it's still fine. You know, it's it's grown on me in an episode. Uh, I, I think I still do prefer the old style, but maybe that's just like nostalgia talking. Nostalgia, it's less than 10 years old, Connor. What's wrong with you? Um, but yeah, I think it looks fine is the, uh, the moral of the story. They still got shiny eyes and that's all that really matters to me. The next morning, Yu gets a phone call from Ayamu, texting her, waking her up, whatever it is. Uh, another thing I liked, the, uh, the ringtone for Ayamu was the first song Ayamu sang in the, you know, in the, the outside of the anime lore, the real life lore. I don't remember the name of the song, but uh, yeah, it's the first, it's like an instrumental sort of version of it. I like that, I was like, ah, oh, it's like a little Easter egg, it's very nice, I like that. They have, uh, they have morning balcony talk because they're next door neighbours, just a little bit to tell you that right there. Uh, they're very good friends, as we'll get to later on as well. Then they head to school. Yu's just bored in class. She's, she's looking out the window. I think she was in the protagonist chair. You know, wouldn't surprise me because she is the protagonist, basically. Um, after class, they Yu drags Ayamu to the school idol club. They don't know where they're going, but she drags. That's why she drags her. Uh, it wasn't voluntary. Not. Yeah, wasn't voluntary. Yu is 100% dragging Ayamu here, and Ayamu is just along for the ride for right now. Uh, she fell in the rabbit hole, basically, did Yu. She stayed up all night watching idol videos, and now she is down the rabbit hole. We've all fallen down a rabbit hole, you know? It's all ha it's happened to all of us on different things, you know? Uh, I, I can't think of what rabbit hole I've fallen into recently. Oh, no, I can, actually. There was a time when I watched a load of creepypasta videos, and then it was 4 a.m., so... There's a rabbit hole, fall in it, it just never ends. Uh, I'm sure everyone's got weird ones, like I think I also, another rabbit hole is those like Reddit compilation videos. Fell into that rabbit hole too. Stay, it's a thing that keeps you up all night and you is no different falling into the school idol rabbit hole. Thought they would have showed like her watching maybe like the old groups maybe, just as like, hey, it's a cameo, you know, like they did in uh, Sunshine or I guess they don't really wanna reuse the same things again. That would be bad if they, they did the same thing thrice. That would not be good. Um, and then, what is you up to? She's going to go find Setsuna because she's her number one fave right now and she's all motivated and going to f track her down and find her uh, because that is what you does, I guess. One problem though, neither of them seem to know where the club room is, which is less than good. Apparently also no one else knows. They ask around, they go into this noodle club, which was just a bit, okay, noodle club, cool. Noodles are cool. Should probably also mention Niji, Niji, Niji Gasaki is a hard word to say, first of all. And secondly, it's like a massive high-tech school. Like, they were on, like, tablets in their school. I'm like, I mentioned my school had tablets. We were lucky if we got a laptop. Um, so, yeah, they, it's a really... I doubt... What I'm, what I'm trying to say here is I'm doubt this, I doubt this school is in any danger of closing down. So I guess we don't have... To, we won't be repeating that... Uh, that plot point, which is good, because, you know, too much repetition is bad. I sort of forgave it in Sunshine, because Sunshine became its own thing. But if they did it again, I would have been a bit like, er, you know, what are you up to? Uh, but no, they didn't. Then doesn't look like they're going to do that. Uh, no luck asking around. They ask Rena, who is the girl with the pink hair, uh, you know, what's up, uh, basically. Do you know where it is? And she just stares at them. Just stares. Emotionless. No soul. She stares deep inside your soul. She sees your future and your past. You cannot hide it. From Rina Tenoji, I think is her surname. 
uh, like I said, remember some things, not a lot. Um, I shows up, as I said, I don't remember her surname at all, so maybe I should look this up at some point, probably. Uh, I shows up and helps them out, and then she points out on a map, and he's like, it was established this year, so nobody really knows about it yet. And I'm like, dude, did they not watch Setsuna's performance? You know, we could have spawned like five different versions of you at this point, like different people all having the same thought, but no, it's just you, it turns out. She points him in, this, in the right way. Rena tells her that, hey, I wasn't, I wasn't in a hurry, you just spooked me. And it's like, bro, when I'm spooked, I just fall on the floor. Like, if I'm proper spooked, it's like the jolt, and then sometimes fall to the ground. Uh, it's happened. It's definitely happened. Um, but whatever, hey, they, they, uh, what is she, she asked them if they like school idols, and Yui's like, yes I do, and Ayamu's like, I don't know yet, and then Rina's like, interesting, well, see you later, I guess, and it's like, okay, bye Rina, you're very strange, you're very strange, Rina, you do I like you? I mean, I like all of them, that's not even the question, um, but, uh, but yeah, do I have a favourite? I mean, it's not fair after one episode, is it? It's really not fair, I think they all did show up, yeah, they all showed up, but only briefly. Eventually they do find the club room and they're about to go in when the student council president, Nana something, shows up. Nana, I don't remember that. But she's the student council president is the important thing here. She shows up and basically says, tells them, hey, you're not going to find Setsuna. She quit being a school idol and it's like, oh man, that kind of sucks. Uh, also, the club is disbanded now and you is just, she's shook. That's the only way I can put it. She's heartbroken. She's distraught. She's another word that means bad. Uh, gutted. That's the word I put in my notes. Probably should have started with that one. Uh, and then after that we see... I mean, can I say it? Other people that may end up being important characters. Uh, we have Shizuku performing uh, a play. It was probably like Shakespeare or something. I don't remember what she was reading. I'm going to be honest with you. We have Kanata sleeping. She gets it. Sleeping is good. Uh, who else is it? Uh, we have Karin, who is the blue head one, and Emma, who is the like brown head one. Does she have freckles? I think she has freckles. Why is that the most obvious feature? Who knows? I could even be wrong there. I, don't, I think I am wrong as well. Gonna have to look at some art after this, is what it turns out. Um, they're having tea, you know. I think Emma says, like, hey, the club was meant to be going on break. Why have we disbanded? That's kind of weird. And then finally, we see your girl, Kasu Kasu, Kasumin. Uh, being like, oh, I'm not giving up yet. And I'm like, I like Cassidy. Like, from my brief time I played the game, I liked her, I think. She she might have been my favourite from, again, very brief time. After this, could could despise her. Doubt it, though. I really, I really doubt that. But it could happen. Who knows? You and I, Amu, go to eat more food. A lot of them eating rolls or crepes or whatever they were eating. Just This is just you and I, Amu, eat food, the anime, I guess. Um... Yu wants to forget about Setsuna now, she's all, she's a little bit, uh, what's the word, she's down, she's low, you know, like, ah, uh, you know, what's the point and all that. Uh, what's she saying, wonder if it's that hard to chase your dreams? Basically, she was so inspired by uh, Setsuna that she thought, because she doesn't have any goals or dreams at the moment, she's like, oh, maybe, you know, watching them, I'll, I'll get dreams and that eventually, but no, that's not, that's not what happened. Oh, I feel bad, we're on episode one, I'm already feeling bad, that's not good. Uh, Ayamu, you know, they do more shopping, little montage. Before getting home, they're at a very... I don't, it's not even an alley, it's just like an area. I don't know what to call it. I don't know why I'm drawing so much attention to it. Uh, Ayamu says that, hey, I watched a lot of videos too, you. You're not the only one who wanted to meet Setsuna. I wanted to be just like them. I wanted to shine too. And I was like, here we go again. I want to shine, buddy. Who was that, Chica? That was definitely Chica. What am I saying? I can hear her saying it. Uh, a lot of that. Uh, wanted to meet Setsuna. She still wants to wear cute clothes, and I'm just like, dude, you can wear cute clothes no matter what age you are. Like, am I, am I the idiot here? Am I the one that's the silly? Like, is that is this on me? <laughs> like, do I not get it? Whatever, though. Uh, she wants to become a school idol. She says it, and Yu's eyes just go like, what? When she says it, it's pretty pretty funny. When do the heart eyes come? Later or earlier on, I think. Uh, when the heart eyes, I don't mean the whole eyes turn to hearts, I mean there's like little, the sparkles turn to hearts. It was very, it was a little touch, but it was great. Uh, and then, of course, Ayamu starts singing. I think this is a new song. As I said, I'm not up to date, but I think this one was new. Like 100% for the anime new. Could be wrong. 
but I think it was. Also having a thought, Ayamu sang on her own, so if they all sing on their own, that means we're getting like nine new songs, plus the opening and the ending at least, that's 11, and they're probably going to do some group... There might be a lot of new songs in this in this one. I've just I've just had a thought, so maybe maybe it's a good time to get off on the on the train. Sorry, and uh, catch up with what I think. But no, the song it was very good. More U Vision turned everything pink. There was a lot. There was a lot of pink. Ayamu had the I think it was the dress from earlier on. Uh, I could be wrong though, but it looked nice. Is the important thing. Uh, it looked pure. Pure is a good word, and I think that's like her. She's green, right? In All Stars. Well, green is pure, right? Yeah, because the smile and... If people don't know what I'm talking about, like, if, if there's casual people watching, they'll be like, what the hell is this idiot talking about? Um, don't worry, you're not alone. I also question what this idiot is talking about. Um, but no, the, the song is good. I don't have much to say beyond that, because I am not good at talking about music, it turns out, other than it was good and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, there, one thing I do actually remember from it, there's like a part in it where they're like holding hands. It's like, oh, that's nice. But then she like lets go and it's falling and she's reaching. I don't... If I could understand Japanese and like could tell what she was singing about, that would probably hit me a lot harder. But it hit me pretty hard anyway. It's like, damn. You attacking me like that already, Love Live? We're on episode one. Stop it. Um, and then what is she... She's like, after this, she's like, will you see this dream through of me? And you is all like, of course I will. I'll be with you forever. And it's like, duh. It's nice. Hey, at least there's ten of them now, so, like, the shippers won't have to leave one one of the girls out, you know. So there's a there's a plus, I guess. I'm not a heavy shipper myself, me. But if that's what you do, you do that. Just don't be toxic about it. That's that's my, that's my rules. Rules? Not even rules. My uh, motto, I guess. Uh, not quite the end, though. There was a post credit scene. Uh, Kasumi sees the... Uh, sign golf gone off the uh, off the club room, the school idol club room, and Kasumi's like, "You'll pay for this, student council." She doesn't say that. She's like, "Curses, student council." I can't remember what she said, but basically, like, "Damn it, student council, what you doing?" Uh, so, I guess next episode we're going to focus on Kasumi, which is good because from the preview, God, she had like her eye, her eye. She had like so many funny faces in the preview, and again, I'm like, I I don't know what's going on. But I love it. That's basically where I'm at by there. And that was the end of the episode. A really good debut, I thought. Out of everything I think I've watched so far this season, this was my favourite premiere episode. So it's doing something good. It's got me back on the train immediately. Uh, sucks that I, I lost my uh, School Idol Festival account, so I'm going to have to start from scratch. But uh, hey, I've got All Stars though, so I can play, I can play both, I guess. I can't be the last my account. Anyway, what was my favourite part of the episode, though? That is the real question. So, my favourite part of the episode is a recurring thing, and I hope it becomes a recurring thing throughout the series, is use music video vision. Uh, yeah, I think they did things with, like, music videos in the other seasons, but they never got too crazy. But with Yu's insane imagination, I guess, you could do a lot of cool things, like the, the explosions and the magma and stuff from... Uh, from the set soon as the beginning, and then of course Ayamu's whole thing as well. Like, you may make say, hey, is that necessary? You could have just done the music videos a anyway. And I'm like, yes, you could have. But it's nice, nice to have an in-universe explanation as to why, uh, why it's happening. Or, I am really overthinking this, and it's not a thing at all. But I'm choosing to believe it is. That's, that's how I'm going to go with it. Uh, anyway, yeah, really enjoyed the premiere. Really hope it does good. Like... I think, I don't think it's th that popular, you know, in terms of watch, like it's quite low down the list, but I don't care because it's great and I'm having a good time. Um, I, I hope, you know, I hope, well, no, not I hope, but I look forward to meeting the others properly. As I said, I played a little bit of the game, but it'll be nice to see, I mean, it'll be just be nice to see them in full animation as well, like 2D animation. It'll be nice. It'll be good to see. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here because it's been going on a little while. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff. For more reviews, I will be back on Saturday this time, I promise, for another episode. Of, okay, maybe Sunday. It'll be Saturday or Sunday, I'll just tell you that now. Uh, for another episode of this, take care and bye guys.